Welcome. It's uh, May 7th, and we're talking to you today from our Sacramento office. Very busy time of the year up here. Wanted to spend a moment to talk to you about something that we have been in the press a lot about, and there's been a lot of press in regards to, and that's the eastern span of the Bay Bridge replacement project, something I've been involved with for a number of years. As many of you know, uh, in local government, I've been involved in transportation at the county level and the regional level at MTC, representing Contra Costa County. And here in the legislature, I have been fortunate to be both the chair of the Assembly Transportation Committee and now the chair of the Senate Transportation Committee. So a lot of involvement in these issues, a long historic involvement in this particular project. So I want to talk about that project in specifically, but also to talk about the larger issues of Caltrans and things I think we need to fix there at Caltrans. So first of all, the bridge, the question of the integrity of the bolts uh, that have been questioned um, up to 2,000 uh, and some of the bolts that have failed. Uh, we're looking very much forward to having a report from Caltrans and the Metropolitan Transportation Commission uh, next week on, on Tuesday, on May 14th, here in the building, where they will explain what their response has been and their investigation up to this point has been, uh, to see why these mistakes happened on these bolts, um, why some of them failed, what they're doing to make sure that none of the rest of them fail, and to make sure that there's a safe replacement so that we can try to get that bridge opened. As many of you know, over the course of the last 20 plus years, uh, since 1989 when Loma Prieta, um, that earthquake had the impact of us going and looking at a replacement span. We know it's been a race against time that the existing span is not safe. We want to get commuters off of that span and onto the new one, but we need to make sure that the new one is safe and we're still hoping for a Labor Day opening. So as we get to the end of this project, we want to make sure it's safe and then we want to ask some questions to make sure people are held accountable if they didn't adhere to Caltrans policies. And then in the midterm, uh, we sort of want to make sure that this investment that we paid, an investment of $6.3 billion on a project that originally was a little over a billion dollars, that we can quantify what we got and why it costs so much more. Largest public works project in the history of the state. And then lastly, and I think probably most importantly, uh, in spite of the importance of what we just talked about in the bridge, is a change to the Department of Transportation, a change to Caltrans, where they're more responsive to the commuter, to the commuters that we make efficient, effective use of your hard-earned tax dollars and toll dollars to make sure that we're responsive and we're transparent and we're doing everything we can possibly do to make sure that the motoring public and your families get to work and get home safely in a manner that's as efficient as possible for your investment in that system. It's a system that requires public agency to be transparent, transparent and honest with Californians when we make mistakes and make sure that uh, we learn from those mistakes. So these are challenging times at Caltrans. I'm hopeful that by the time I uh, leave this position as chair of the committee that Caltrans will have changed and will have had a period where people can feel really proud about the Caltrans and the Department of Transportation here in California as they once did as a national model of excellence. So as always, uh, feel free on this issue or any other issue to call our Sacramento office, our district office in Walnut Creek, or contact us through our website. And uh, we look forward to serving you as we always have. Thanks for listening.